Power brace lock rods are manufactured and assembled to the highest standards in the industry. But it's important they be handled properly during loading and unloading so they arrive undamaged and ready to be installed. When we load a bundle of lock rods onto a trailer, we strongly suggest using a forklift equipped with 5 foot length forks. Chaining the bundles of lock rods to the forks is absolutely necessary if 4 foot forks are all you have available. A shorter fork will not provide the same support and stability. A 5 foot fork will reach the center wooden support to make moving the lock rod bundle easier and safer. The tip of a 5 foot fork should reach the center of the wooden support. For the forks to lift the lock rod bundle properly, they must be set 8 inches apart, the inside dimension between the two forks. When we band each lock rod bundle, the center wooden support helps stabilize the lock rods and make the lock rod bundle easier to move and transport. The end of a 5 foot fork will fit perfectly under the center wooden support and will be snug against either side of the shorter block. 5 foot forks also make lifting the bundle easier. If your forklift does not have 5 foot forks, the forks will not reach the center wood support and movement of the bundles will require the use of a chain as shown here. Once the lock rods are secure on the forklift, it's time to load them on the trailer. The first bundle of lock rods to be loaded are stacked along the side walls of the trailer so that the forklift can be used to position them close to each wall. Then the remaining lock rod bundles can fit in between. When both rows have been stacked, the lock rods are ready for transport. Unloading the lock rod should be done carefully using the same techniques and equipment that were used to load them. 5 foot forks and a chain will be necessary to remove the lock rod bundles from the trailer. Start with the bundle in the middle of the top row, then remove the remaining bundles on that row. When removing the bundles, be careful that the forks reach all the way under the center wooden support before lifting. It's necessary to chain the bundles securely to the forks before lifting. Once the top row is removed, the center bundle on the bottom row can now be removed, followed by the rest of the lock rods. Carefully loading and unloading the bundles of lock rods will mean that these quality power brace lock rods will be ready for installation without any delays. <laughs>